uh, in this experiment, we are going to detect the color of any ob object using color sorter TCS3200 and uh, the sensed color, it is monitored in ThinkSpeak using node MCU ESP8266. So how the color sorter works, how it detects the uh, different colors and uh, how to write the code for color sorter and how to send the data to the um, uh, thing speak from the uh, sensed color. So all these things I have explained in different video and the link of the video is shared in the description box. In this experiment today, I am going to explain how to do the connection and how to send the data to the thing speak. This color sorter has got five pins on the left side and five pins on the right side. So in on both sides, VCC and ground is given. So ne no need of connecting VCC and ground on both the side to the node MCU. Choose any one of them, either left side or right side and do the connection for VCC and ground. VCC of color sorter is connected to VCC of node MCU and uh, that is 3.3 .3 volts pin of node MCU and ground is connected to ground pin on the node MCU. Here there are two pins S0 and S1. S0 pin it is connected to D4 pin and uh, S1 pin it is connected to S1 pin is connected to D5 pin of node MCU. So this, guy, this side connection is over and this side uh, yes, uh, don't connect ground and VCC, just connect uh, S2, S3 and output pin. S2 is connected to pin number D6 and S3 is connected to pin number D7 and output pin is connected to pin number D8. This is all about the connection. Now, you turn on your mobile hotspot and give the connection uh, credential. So, I, my node MCU is connected to uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, and the name of this is Shanta CM. This you should give it in a uh, coding. So after uh, this, we will go to the code directly. Now in this coding, you should give the Wi-Fi credential. So the SSID is uh, there just now I shown that uh, uh, credential I'm using and give your own password. So after writing these two, you should define the uh, pins to which the node MCU is connected. Just now I explained how to do the connection S0 uh, for D4 pin of node MCU, S1, D5, S2, D6, S3, D7 and output pin D8. So, uh, and initially uh, this color sorter, it, uh, it detects the basic colors, red, green and blue. Initially, we will declare on these uh, variables as zero. And here the important point is, uh, first you should create a channel in a ThingSpeak and uh, you should copy the channel ID from ThingSpeak and paste it here. And you should copy the API key, write API key and again paste it here. Now that I'll show you. So before showing that, I'll just explain all these pins, S0 pin, S1 pin, S2 pin and S3 pins, I'm making as a output pin and uh, the out pin of, uh, uh, out pin uh, that is D8 pin, it is connect, uh, it is made as a input pin because and the out pin of color sorter becomes the input for the node MCU and uh, S0, S1, S2, and S3 pins of the color sorter becomes the output pin for the uh, output pins for the node MCU. So this you should keep in mind. And S0 pin and S1 pin initially we should make high. So why we should make high? Uh, that I have already explained in that video. You just go through that video. And next you using your credential, you connect your node MCU to the Wi-Fi. So after that, you uh, here one uh, uh, care should be taken. Uh, what is that? I'll tell you now. And S2 and S3 both are loop. And uh, this also I have explained in, in that video. So here and the two important uh, important functions are used. Um, if you want to find the blue color, 
the threshold I have set as 60 and depends on your light intensity and, uh, and the value what you will get in the serial monitor you should fix the threshold value and uh, if blue is less than 60 and if blue color is blue color value is less than red and less than green then it will uh, declare the color is blue in the same way if green is less than 60 and green is less than red and less than blue it will give the value as green similarly red if red is less than 60 and red is less than green and red is less than blue it will return the color as red so after that the remaining data is used to send the uh, remaining code is used to send the data to the thing speaker now how to copy this uh, uh, channel id and api key and uh, that i'll show you go to the chrome and you type here thing speak so click on IoT Analytics of ThingSpeak. So click on Get Started for Free. Then you type your mail ID here. I am giving my mail ID. So give your password. And sign in. So copy your mail ID. Okay, so copy here and sign in. So the ThingSpeak channel will be opened. Okay, so after this, by default, it will give us only four channels. Already I have used four channels. Now I will delete one of the channel. So go to channel setting. Here there is a delete option. Delete the channel. It will ask you to delete the channel. You click OK. So I, I left with only three channels. Now I can use one more channel. So I'll click on new channel. Okay. So here I'll give the uh, name as, name of the title as color sorter. description if you want to give you can write in the first field so you check the uh, color of the in which first color which one you have used in a code that same thing we will give it the first one is uh, here first one is red next blue next green that we will give it now okay so go to the thing speak channel first you give red In channel 2, which one you are giving in channel 2? In first field, I am giving the color red. See, the, this is channel 1. Uh, first field, I am sending red color. In channel 2, yellow. And in channel 3, green. And in channel 4, blue. So the same value will give red, yellow, green, blue. So I'll go here. Red already I have given. Red, yellow. Next. Third one is. Which one is third one? Red, yellow, green and blue. Green and blue. This is green. Third one is green. And last one is blue. So in this way, you give four colors based on this, uh, the colors which we have used in the code. According to that, you give the colors. After giving the colors, you go and save the channel. The channel will be saved. And four fields are created, one for 
red, next one is yellow, and next one is green, and next one is a blue. So four fields are created now. So after this, you go to um, channel ID and copy this channel ID. Copy this and go to the code and paste it in the channel ID here. I, I have used the, the earlier channel ID I'll erase and I'll paste the new channel ID. And the right API key also I'll copy. Go to API keys and copy this right API key and go and paste it in your code. This is my right API key and paste here. So only this much and your credential, uh, Wi-Fi credential you give and now you connect your node MCU and hit upload button. Now you select the board. The board is Node MCU under ESP8266. Select Node MCU 1.0 and select the COM port. COM13 to COM13. My Node MCU is connected. Next, you hit the upload button. So it starts uploading the code. It takes a few seconds to upload your code to the uh, Node MCU. We'll wait for one or two seconds. Now it started uploading, 100% uploading is done. It will display some size uploading done. Then click on serial monitor. Now nothing is displayed in a serial monitor. You just click the reset button of your node MCU. So it started connecting to your Wi-Fi network. So it is connected. Now it starts it started giving the colors r intensity is 90 g intensity is 92 and v intensity is 88 okay so now i'll uh, i'll uh, now it is giving 122 119 123 and 121 now i'll show green color uh, uh, green color you just check the intensity of green color will get decreased so i'll bring green color and Keep it near the color sorter. See, I kept green color. So the green color is decreasing from 126 to 96. Okay. So it will take minimum uh, 10 readings. And after 10 readings, it will take average and uh, it dis displays green is detected. You can check in the serial monitor. Green is detected. Again, it takes 10 readings because in for loop I have given 10. It takes 10 readings and again it will display as green color detected because I am holding green color near a color sorter. Wait. Exactly in front of that, you should hold it. See, green color is detected. Now, I'll show red color. So, red color will get detected. So, I'll show the red color. So, I'm holding my sorter near, uh, color sorter near red color. See, red is detected. It is giving in the serial monitor. Now, I'll hold blue color. blue color so now i'll hold a blue is detected in this way it starts detecting all the colors at the same time we will check it in things speak you go to the channels my channels in that color sorter you click and check here so here one dot has come red color. Now in this time, and the dot has come red color is detected. And see a green color. Earlier it was here. When it is detected, it is giving two. And similarly, blue. 
So when I hold blue once again, it will give us the value. So here I again, uh, I again I took blue color near the color sorter. So the field is updated. And now I'll show again for red. Red. I'm holding red. Now it is only one dotted line. Okay, now red also gets updated. In this way, and uh, all the fields gets updated uh, from, from their original position uh, to its uh, value. So in this way, we can detect the color of an object using the node MC. Uh, this is color sorter uh, TCS3200 and uh, it has got uh, 5 pins on this side and 5 pins on that side and how to do the connection from color sorter to node MCU already I have explained you please go through that so after doing the complete connection now I will bring a green color this is green color so I will hold this green color near the color sorter and we will check the value in uh, serial monitor. See, here it is green color is detected. It will give us as green color is detected. Once again, see here, green color is detected. It takes 10 readings at a time and uh, it will take the average of 10 readings and it will declare the color as green color is detected. Now I will hold this red color near the color sorter, I will hold it and we will go to serial monitor and check it. See here it is giving us the red color is detected in the serial monitor. Next I will uh, bring the blue color near the color sorter, I will hold it here, we will go and check in the serial monitor. It is giving the blue color is detected. And you can check in the things peak channel. So it is updated. The red color, green color, blue color, it is updating in the things peak channel. In this way, we can determine the color of the object and monitor the color in the things peak account.